Well, Mixie mentioned there that he was uh, uh, played hurling and football, and we know that the O'Toole family have played an enormous um, part in the GAA story in Charleville, and indeed that fact will be recorded in the history of the GAA, which has been presently compiled, um, and the family are mentioned uh, in it. But Mixie, you yourself played a lot of Gaelic games and a lot of football. Well, as an O'Toole, I wasn't the best of the O'Tooles, but as you know, you said there, there was... For myself, I played with just as great men in Charfle. But uh, the best uh, I thought of the O'Toole was Michael, the lot of us, I must say. And uh, that's the... Uh, and uh, Michael, he was the great hurler. Played with Cork and Donny, Tom and Billy, and other lads. But I was, uh, myself, I was a bit of a gallery. I'd get an old pint from out the field, an old pint, and I'd play an old tone, and I'd be a sub half of my time. But you'd just say, come on, mix you go in, playing football. And I would get in there, and I'd wear the old Gansey. But as I said, I loved it, and uh, I, I enjoyed every moment of it, because uh, there was a great happiness there in it, and uh, but Charfle, well, I was a cheerful man, and if they wanted me, I was proud to go in there when they wanted me. But uh, as I say, I, I must go back to Nimerick. I learned, I think I caught the Hurley first. It was down around Old Palace in East Nimerick, uh, East Nimerick when I started playing a little bit of it. And that's where it all started. And uh, going back to Doha, it was a little bit more football, but it was great hurling, a bit good hurling there, and a little bit of handball. But... I enjoyed every moment as a gallery, but I said, I was only just a handy old hurdler, like, you know what I mean? I was never a, a big star, but when they wanted me, Mixie myself, I was always around. Well, that's for sure. Mixie was always there when he was wanted, both in handball and in hurling, or football, indeed. Now, Mixie, you have also played your part in, 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 the, in the life of the town and being a prominent member of the uh, Charleville Town Development Association. How long have you been associated with that body? Well, I've been interested in Charleville in the town developments. It was nice to see a town development and the things to be done. It was nice to sit above with the rest of the people of the town and taking an interest. I have been there 25 to 30 years, 25 years, and everything was going on, and even... As you say, with the, uh, going back to the Charfle Cheese Festival, it was nice to help them out in any way. And I suppose, Michael, and just saying, including yourself, being a, a member of the Charfle, they brought a lot of things to Charfle. They put life in Charfle. They brought people from all over uh, here and abroad. And uh, to, as, and I think the, the rest of the Charfle Cheese Festival, it was hard work. I've seen them. I mean, I wouldn't, but I was helping. They've done an awful lot of hard work and strenuous work, and uh, I enjoyed it to help them uh, this, uh, drag an old table or an old chair or, 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 or do this or stand in there. But I enjoyed every moment of what they were doing and the atmosphere they brought in, and, uh, and it was no easy job for them. And they are very good to the Chaffle Cheese Festival. I must say that. Now, Mixie, you're plucky away there now for... for, for Fair leather there, mind telling you, you're giving yeah. it to that bird. Now, the feathers, wh wh what, do you, what do you do with the feathers after? Well, they're, they are these feathers. They're good feathers. They, they have a lot of down in them, and they're good feathers. They, they make, they, they purify them, and they wash them, and they put them into different uh, quills. They go to, well, I don't export them, but I know some people, there's family and other people, they export them in the country, and they're very valuable feathers. But uh, this is a goose I'm plucking now, and uh, he's down. There's a good share of down off of this goose. So they will be sent to... Wh who will you send that away to now, I won't, but I'll sell him to my brother. Uh, he'll come along and comes up come, and I'll give me... Treat me very decent, and he'll treat me well and buy him and all that. And uh, he does the whole lot. But uh, I enjoy what I'm doing now, and uh, there's a part of the uh, job, and Michael. Uh, no, they're, they're, they're very downy looking there now, aren't they? they, 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 they Soft. Oh, they are soft. It's uh, just go down him. You see the land. Uh, you can see the down. The, the down is there. Very good. Downy feather. So he'll probably end up as a continental quilt someplace like that, will he? Yes, he will indeed. At least, at least the feathers will end up as a continental quilt. He'll end up at somebody's dinner, I presume. Yes, he will. Yes, he will, Michael. Lomixi, you're a fine figure of a man. And a good-looking man. Thank you, Michael. And Mixi, you are not married. Well, I'm not married. 
because uh, well I tell you it is not married because I suppose uh, I always say I it's nice to get married when you're young if your life is a uh, it's a uh, it's good but when you get on a little bit over a certain amount of years uh, you get careless in life and you you uh, it's not the same anymore that uh, you say as well, I mean, it's a mistake that anybody f gets a nice girl and likes her and it's a good way to get married and settle down and and go and live a good life. I think that's very good, really. But there was a, a rumour, Mixie, a popular rumour around the town that when you were in England that you had a black woman. <laughs> no, I had no black woman. But I, <coughs> excuse me, I, I was going with a girl in Clare and I was doing a line with a girl in Nimerick. And I, I had the girls here and there, as you know, nice, lovely Irish girls. And I was in England, I nice English girls. And I was out foreign, I, some nice foreign girls. Where were you out foreign, Mixie? I was in Burma in India. I, done the, I, I went out there, I was a bit young. But I, as I was out there, I courted a couple of foreign girls. Like, Would there be any different notes of the girl in Limerick or Clare now? They're all the same. They're all the same people. They're all the same. Yeah, they're, they're, to my look, all people. From, they're all the same people. That's what I know. That's my my experience. And what took you to Burma, to Burma, and to uh, and to India? Yeah, during the war, I taken was shifted out there and went in the war. But I was very young. I didn't do any killing or anything. I never. I was in no war there anyway. The war was over. But was grand to get out there, drifted out there in a boat, and uh, see what is like life. I mean, uh, it's a different atmosphere out there. It's like they come over to us, and we they find a different atmosphere. But it was lovely out there. I, but maybe I I, I was out there for a while. I got married, but I didn't get married. But I always comes back to my mind thinking, but God, the past is gone. It's the future that counts. Well, you must have been very hard to please, Mixie, would you? In, in, in the line of a, in the line of a woman, or you must have been very hard to please. I mean, you were you had the girl in Clymric, and you had the girl in Clare, and you had the, the girls in Burma and in India, and still you escaped and came back here, and you here you are happily plucking that goose today. Well, I suppose it's just one of those things. Maybe I, I, I thought that uh, I'd my own too many girls, and uh, that's a bad job. I mean, like when you wind up. And when you get on, you might not, after a while, you, you'd wind up with no one. And uh, the thing about it, maybe a blonde, uh, you'd be looking for her a brunette and all that. And you have one, one eye, the, one right, the right eye in a blonde and the left eye a brunette. And the two eyes are working, you'll find then that you that you wind up with nothing in the end of it. You're a little bit too selfish with your features and looking around. And that's how it, it works out. Well, no, Mixie, you, you, you nearly have this goose plucked and he's going to be somebody's dinner, I presume, on, on, for Chris, on Christmas Day. <coughs> will you yourself eat a goose on Christmas Day or a bit of a turkey? Or what will you do? Sorry, Michael. I'll eat a turkey. And uh, I'll eat it with my mother and uh, my nephew and uh, some uh, local person invited again to the Christmas dinner. But I said I'll have it with my mother and... Uh, it is a nice way to be in the home, which uh, parts of my family, of my mother and my nephew, and uh, there's another person from the town. It just it'd be a nice way to be, but uh, that's the way I'd like it. That's that's Christmas. Uh, one and uh, uh, there was one thing I, going from the conversation, I uh, wanted to say that uh, I was at a match and uh, going back to the G uh, and uh, I Ballygran. And kept going back to the actual was I? The um, they they won the county. <coughs> no harm to Fina. Fina won it herself years ago. I saw him playing in him at the county fight, but he didn't kill Malik about a month ago. And uh, they deserve. It was a great match. It was very exciting. And uh, I must say that I just say that. And uh, there was great huddling in it. And there was a great crowd. It was a terrible crowd of people. <clears throat> and it was the last match of the year. Well, of course, before that, I drank out of the Narcock uh, Cup. Charful won the Narcock. And I, where did I stop? I stopped that up. 
I think she was coming down by by little, yeah. And I had a, a little supper dad, and I was great for cheerful. And to the pity they went a bit further when they were in hard luck and had a third round. But then we'll go back then into Kilmalik where there was another cup won by Bally Grand. But I'm not saying anything against Fina now. Fina is a great old parish and uh, they're good hurling. And I saw him playing last year and uh, they played great. There was a great atmosphere. And uh, I know they won it before years ago when I hope that Fina would come along in 1987 and I hope they'll achieve their county. But I went to Paddy McCall's in Kilmalik and I, I had a little sup out of their little cup. And uh, I met Phil Binnitz, the trainer. He was coming down and uh, we were just talking about the match in Nimerick with Claha and he was telling me the result. But I enjoyed the atmosphere. And uh, as a, a parish, the best to look to in the, in the G, as I forgot about that. It, that's the, the charful now, locally. They won the Narcock and in Ballygrand, Castletown. And... Uh, of course, we have all our own parish, like we're all around us, like Newtown and Milford, and you could say Miss Carl and all going. But their time will come too to get their little victory and their little cups, and we'll be there anyway. So now that we leave Mixie, uh, putting the finishing touches to that goose there, who is going to end up on somebody's table for Christmas, and uh, we wish him a very, very happy Christmas and many more years of plucking. And long may the tradition live in Charlotte. And thank you, uh, Michael, and thank you for the, the the passing with the video. And I wish the, the man is the Michael Griffin. And I wish you both a happy Christmas and a bright new year.